this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you decided to join me today for yet but another tutorial. And today I chose to share with you a beautiful vest with super cute statement bubble sleeves. I am in love with this vest. I've been wearing it nonstop and I used one of the yarns that I had shown you in my haul that I did last week from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you have seen it. If you haven't here, check it out. I'll put a card right here. You can click on there and then go check that haul. It was super nice. I fell in love with Hobby Lobby. I will be back very soon. But this is the yarn that I used for today's tutorial in a beautiful mustard honey color, which is the color of the leaves that are left on the trees. It is, it is the end of fall. We're getting closer to winter. Can you believe it is November? and we're getting closer to Thanksgiving and then the holidays, nuts, so nuts. I will actually, let me know if you're interested, but I was thinking that next week or in the next few weeks, I will post a guide for, uh, like I did last year, I think, a guide for crafters, crocheter, etc for little uh, gifts for the holidays, whatever you celebrate, maybe Hanukkah on Christmas or Kwanzaa, stocking stuffers. Um, let me know if you're interested in me making one of those videos, I would love to. But for today, here is the beautiful sweater vest that I am sharing with you. I enjoyed creating it for you so much. Those little baubles are everywhere right now in dresses, in sweaters, and I think it is so much fun. It's super easy to make. And this is the yarn that I had shown you in my uh, haul, the Hobby Lobby haul. It's called I Love This Chunky Super Soft. Uh, and it is in color honey. I needed for this vest about seven or eight. I will put, of course, all the information about uh, this yarn and everything that I used for this tutorial in the info box down below. So the way we're creating this vest is from the bottom up. First, you do one big rectangle, then you add the front panels on the side, then you add the back in the middle, you sew it together, and then you do the sleeves. And the sleeves are what makes this vest special. They have little bubbles, they kind of have a statement, a little bit poofy, but not too much sleeve. I have so many other ideas for statement sleeves and statement sweater with poofy and bubbles and stuff like that. If you have any ideas for me, I love to hear your suggestions, so don't hesitate to put your suggestions in the comment box down below. Also, I have here the names of the three winners that I had for my giveaway. My uh, It was my velvet dress giveaway. Three of you are the winners today. Here are your names, congratulations. Please send me your physical address in my email. This is my Gmail account so send me what color of yarn you want you had three choices and then also your physical address so i can send you your um things congratulations and thank you so much for participating for today again i have a giveaway for you and this is the amount of yarn necessary to create today's vest so to participate again super easy first you need to be subscribed of course this giveaway is only for my subscribers and second of all you need to comment and then that's it that's about it and then i will choose a winner and i will announce the winner in one of my future videos voila as usual i will take you through it slowly but surely no worries if you are not subscribed to my channel don't hesitate to do so it is totally free click on the subscribe button right there it is totally free don't hesitate to hit on the little bell so you can get notified every time i post something new if you just subscribe you're going to not know every time i post i post once a week but some of the people have been complaining that they have been missing some of my uh, videos so the trick is to click on that little notification bell also come and hang out with me on my social Social media we'll put all the social media addresses right there and that is about it I hope you are doing all well if you are interested in knowing how to crochet this beautiful bubble sleeves statement vest then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet bye see you next time for this tutorial you will need a skins of yarn from the brand I love this chunky super soft super savings it's $4.99 per skin. The color is honey. You will also need an 8mm crochet hook, a 6mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle, 
and some scissors. Let's do this guys. So take your, what do we have here? An eight millimeter crochet hook and take your yarn and make a slip knot. Chain one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I chained 70. So we are going to actually crochet the back and the front panel together until we reach about the sleeve beginning height. And that's my base chain. And then I am going to chain two, turn my work around, and in the third chain from my hook, I am going to make a double crochet. And in the next chain, a double crochet again. And in the next, again, a double crochet. And I am going to pick up all the stitches, all the chains, and make a double crochet in each and every one of the chains. And I will meet you at the end of this first row and you should have 70 double crochets at the end of your first row. Meet you at the end of your first row. Here we go, we are at the end of our first row. And for our second one, we're going to chain two, turn our work around, and we are going to go around the first, well actually the second, double crochet and make a front post double crochet. Here is how you do it. You do yarn over, go from front to back around the post from the previous row, yarn over and back behind the post, and then you finish your stitch again. Yarn over, behind, yarn over, and you finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next post from the previous row, from front to back, yarn over and back, and finish your stitch. And we are going to do that for your second round all around. This is going to be the front of your work, and in the back of your work you will see you'll have a little ridge. And I will meet you at the end of your second row. You will have 70 front post double crochet at the end of your second row. And here we go, we are at the end of our second row. And this is the last stitch, I just wanted to show you how to do it. You see the last little post? You're going to yarn over and just go around it. And voila! You should have 70 front post double crochet at the end of your second row. For your third one, you're going to chain two and turn your work around. And we are at the back of your work, right here. See that little ridge? Now instead of a front post double crochet, we're going to make a back post. The only thing different is that you're going to yarn over from the back to the front, yarn over and back, and then finish your stitch. Let's do it again to the next post. And like that, it's going to continue seamless to do the front side like that and the back side with the ridges. All right, we'll go to the next post, yarn over from the back, around the post to the front, yarn over and back, you will have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over through two loops, and yarn over through two loops. And that is what you are going to continue to do for the rest of your third row. At the end of your third row you will have 70 back post double crochet. And that will be the end of your little bottom border of your sweater. I will meet you at the end of your third row. Here we are at the end of your third round of back post double crochet. And in the last stitch, just to the back post there, you still have here one last little post. And you go in the back like so. 
and you finish and you still have 70 stitches in total and now we are done with our third round we are going to chain one and turn our work around and we're going to make a half double crochet in uh, the first stitch and then another half double crochet in that same stitch and then you're going to make a half double crochet in the next six stitches one two three four five and six all right and then in the next in the seventh stitch we're going to make two half double crochets in that same stitch one and two and this is what you are going to repeat for your fourth row making two double crochets in the same stitch and then a single crochet in the next six stitches and repeat and I will meet you at the end of your fourth row and at the end of your fourth row you should have 80 stitches in total and for your fifth row chain one turn your work around and you are going to proceed by making a half double crochet in each and every stitch of your fifth row I will meet you at the end of your fifth row and you will have 80 stitches in total okie dokie and for our sixth row we're going to chain one turn our work around just make a half double crochet in the seven stitches one two three four five six and seven and in the eighth we're going to make two half double crochets in the same stitch and this is what you are going to repeat all along that sixth row and at the end of your sixth row you should have 90 stitches in total I will meet you at the end of your sixth row and this time at the end of your round you are going to end your round with an increase meaning in the last stitch you will do two half double crochets in the same last stitch and you are done and the next row will be a row or half double crochet all along at the end you will still have 90 stitches all right this at your row <laughs> seven you will have 90 stitches it was a row of half double crochet now for your eighth row you're going to chain one and turn your work around we're going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch and another one as well and then you're going to make a half double crochet in the next eight stitches Voila, and in the ninth, we're going to make two half double crochet in that same ninth stitch, and that is what you're going to do all along your eighth row. At the end of your eighth row, you will have 100 stitches in total, and for your ninth row, you will do one row of just half double crochet all around. At the end of your ninth row, you will still have 100 stitches in total I will meet you at the end of your ninth row all right my darlings we are at the end of round nine and we have 100 half double crochets in total so now we're going to do a bunch of rows just going back and forth and working on those 100 stitches that is enough for the size I am making for me which is a small medium I am reminding you we are just working right now on the front and the back together and then once we reach about the arm opening height then we will split it and we'll work on the upper part of the front panel on the back and then the other side of the front panel 
no panicking I will explain it to you it's really really easy so I want this to hit my waist and then I'm going to go back and forth back and forth and make rows of half double crochet until I hit about right underneath my armpits <laughs> so glamorous meet you then so here we are we have our 30 rows now we're going to begin to create the front panel and for that for your 31st row what you are going to do super simple chain one turn your work around and you are going to make half double crochets but only on 25 stitches and at the end of your 25 stitches you will turn around uh, for your 32nd row you will come back and then half double crochet 25 and that's what you are going to continue for a certain amount of rows and we're creating the front panel and at the same time the armhole opening so you are at your 31st row and you're going to half double crochet 25 i will meet you at the end of my 31st row okay so here you go at the end of your 31st row you just have double crochet 25 and for your 32nd row we're just going to chain one turn your work around so leave the rest alone and on the first stitch half double crochet and half double crochet for that 32nd row all the way until you reach the end of your 32nd row and you are going to repeat these uh, rows for a number of rows. I will let you know exactly how much once I get there. All right, and now you have reached your 35th row. So you are at the end of your 34th row. This is what your work will look like. So we're working on the front panel. And for your 35th row, you're going to chain one and turn your work around. and make a single crochet in the next 22 stitches and I will meet you once you have 22 stitches and then we are going to decrease I'll show you how to decrease because we are going to create the slight slight v-neck for your vest so it's not too boxy and too square give it a little more of a defined look So since we had the 25 stitches that we were working on, you will have three stitches left, right? Do you see those three stitches left here? And I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how I decrease over the two next stitches and then the last stitch I will just half double crochet in it. So I'll show you how to make a half double crochet decrease, super easy. So here you see you have your three left stitches, yarn over through the stitch, yarn over and back. And you have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over through the next stitch, yarn over and back. And you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through all those loops on your crochet hook. And you just turn those two half double crochets into one. And then in the last stitch, make a half double crochet and you are done with your 35th row. Chain one and for your 36th row, you're going to make one row of half double crochet and now you will be working on 24 stitches, right? Because we just decreased one. I will meet you at the end of your row. And here you go, we are ending our 36th row, whoopsie. Working on 24 stitches. And here is the last stitch. Chain one, turn your work around. So for your 37th row, you're going to make half double crochets in the next 21 stitches. I will meet you once you have 21 stitches. And again, at the end of these 37th row, when you have 
a crochet 21 stitches you will have three left you're going to turn the two next stitches into one the same way we did before and then make a half the half double crochet in the last stitch voila and at the end of that 37th row you will have 23 stitches in total for row 28 you're going to chain one and work on those 23 stitches all right and i will meet you at the end of your row 38 all right so you are done with your row 38 and for your row 39 you're going to chain one and turn your work around and you are going to make a half double crochet in the next 20 stitches i will meet you when you have 20 stitches and when you have 20 stitches you're going to turn the two next half double crochets into one and then your last half double crochet of your row and at the end of that 39th row you will have 22 half double crochet and then for your 40th row turn your work around chain one and half double crochet in each of those 22 stitches and i will meet you at the end of your 40th row all right you are at the end of your 40th row and for a row 41 chain one turn your work around and you're going to make a half double crochet in the next 19 stitches I will meet you once you have 19 half double crochet there you go you have a 19 half double crochet turn the two next half double crochet into one and just like that you have 21 stitches in total you are at the end of your 41st row chain one and for your 32nd row you know it you're going to make a half double crochet all along those 21 stitches and i will meet you at the end of your 42nd row okay so now we are at our 43rd row it will be the last row of our front panel and you chain one turn your work around voila and this time you are going to make a half double crochet in each in each of the next 18 stitches and i will meet you once you have 18 half double crochets you go you have 18 half double crochets turn the two next half double crochets into one and this is your last stitch you have 20 half double crochets on that 43rd row and now it's time to fasten off taking my nifty little scissors fastening off and i will show you how it looks we are done with one front panel you're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side of your sweater to create the other panel symmetrically exactly the same on the other side all right so you're done with your two front panels you put your work right side facing you that's the right side you can see it from the trim the little border the other side the wrong side has little ridges and remember we had began our front panel at the 30th row now we're going to work on the back so we're going to go back to the back you are at your 30th row right there and we are going to leave some room for the little armhole opening so from the if you fold it like that or let's open it here you go let's open it so you see your front panel you're going to skip one two three i would say let's skip four stitches and in the fifth one we're going to take our crochet hook so we said one two three four in the fifth and you are going to join with your yarn and i will zoom in to show you how to join so you see you skipped your one two three four stitch 
you pass your crochet hook in the fifth and then you take your yarn and you know the end of your yarn is here you wrap your yarn around your crochet hook just like so and then up pass it through your stitch and chain one using both of the strands now you leave the end the one that is short to the side and you just begin to crochet normally and in that same stitch you joined you make your half double crochet right there and voila you have joined and of course on the other side when you meet that other side panel all the way to the other side you are going to stop four stitches leave four stitches on top before the other side panel so one two three four right here you can put a stitch marker let's find a cute stitch marker ah, voila i put it in the fourth stitch from the other panel so one two three four that means that we are going to the last stitch the last half double crochet of our 31st row first row of your back is going to end right there all right and now you are going to proceed by making a half double crochet all along the 31st row which is the first row of your back right so i'm going to make my way half double crocheting until i reach the stitch marker and i will meet you there okay so here i am at the end of my 31st row the first row of our back and in total i crocheted 42 half double crochets then I'm going to see I just reached the stitch before the stitch marker so I have four stitches in between my last stitch of my back and the first stitch of the front panel what I'm going to do is chain one turn my work around and for rows 32 33 and 34 I'm going to work back and forth on those 42 stitches making three rows of half double crochet I will meet you at the end of your 34th row all right I am done with my 34th row I'm going to chain one and we are going to tackle the 35th row so I chain one turn my work to turn my work around I'm going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch and then I'm going to turn the two next one, the two next half double crochet into one, repeating what we had done for the front panel. And then I am going to half double crochet my way all the way along this 35th row until I have three stitches left at the end. And I will show you what to do. We will decrease at the other end. So you are at the end of your 35th row and you have three stitches left turn the two next one into one like so and finish your 35th row with the last stitch so we decreased one stitch on one side one stitch on the other side at the end of your 35th row you will have 40 stitches in total to work with and for your 36th row you're going to make a row of half double crochet chain one turn your work around and to work on this 36th row at the end of that 36th row you will still have 40 stitches in total i will meet you at the end of your 36th row and here we are at the end of your 36th row still having 40 stitches chain one and for your 37th row again one row of half double crochets all along at the end of your 37th row you will still have 40 stitches and i will meet you at the end of your did i say 37 not 47 37 row i will meet you at the end of your 37 row okay we are at row 38 chain one turn your work around make one half double crochet Turn the two next one, the two next stitches into one. Voila. And then you're going to proceed by making 34 half double crochets. One, two, three. I'll meet you once you have 34. You should have three stitches left at the end of that row. And at the end of your row, you will have three stitches left. 
you're going to turn the two next stitches into one half double crochet and your last half double crochet right there and at the end of this 38th row you should have 38 stitches hey it matches and now for the 39th row and the 40th row you are going to just work on those 38 stitches I will meet you at the end of your 40th row and now what you're going to actually do is continuing back and forth working on those 38 stitches until you reach the end of your row 43 I will meet you at the end of your 43rd row so now we're going to assemble the shoulders now that you're done with the front panels and the back we're going to assemble the shoulders together putting your work wrong side facing you and just slip stitching the stitches from the side panel up to the shoulder together I've shown you many many times how I assemble with a crochet hook you can of course assemble with your tapestry needle whatever you feel more comfortable with and so what I do is I match stitch to stitch I take my crochet hook I pass it through both of the stitches all right so you've seen I put my back and my shoulder seam together let me zoom you up so you match stitch to stitch you take your hook and your yarn so you pass it through the stitch of the back and the matching stitch which is the first stitch right there of the front panel then you yarn over and you go through both of the stitches in the loop on your crochet hook let's do this again go to the next stitch of your back the next stitch of your front panel so you see you have that this and that so three basically things that you have so you have one loop here and then your two stitches yarn over and through everything the stitches and the loop and again through both of them both of them yarn over and voila so for today's sweater I'm going to just continue to pass through both of the, the stitches like so yarn over and through all the loops and I'm going to continue like that matching stitch to stitch until I'm done with one shoulder and then I will repeat on the other shoulder exactly repeating the same I will meet you once you are done with this then we will work on the sleeves we have the sleeves opening ready for us so once you are done attaching both of your shoulders turn your work to the right side back facing you and we will work on the sleeve okay so here is the opening for your sleeve this is the bottom and then it goes around you have this opening and this is the upper part the shoulder part we're going to join our crochet hook at the bottom part of your sleeve opening right there so I'm joining up putting my passing my crochet hook through that first stitch joining the same way we did before <laughs> here we go chaining one leaving your loose end leaving your end yarn and making a half double crochet in that same stitch and then in the next and in the next and in the next so those are the four stitches we had left untouched when we had done our front panels and our back now in that little corner stitch I'm going to make another half double crochet and I'm going to be crocheting in the round this is my first round of my sleeve and I am going to pick up stitches on the side of your sleeve going up and then going down so you pick up about one stitch per row the most important part is to have the same amount of stitches picked up from here to your shoulder seam and from your shoulder seam on the other side to the joining stitch we had created so I'm just picking up stitches on the side of your work so what we want for this sleeve is 36 stitches in total so when you pick up all your stitches around your opening make sure that whatever number you reach at the end is 36 and that will make for the perfect amount to have little bubbles equally um, placed around your sleeve all right 
So here I have three already. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, it's going to be more. Thirteen. Because I haven't reached the seam yet. It's going to be fifteen. Thirteen. 14. Okay, so I have 14 stitches and now I'm reaching the, um, the seam. So I'm going to make one single crochet in the seam, the shoulder seam. And then I am going to go down the other side of my sleeve, picking up again in stitches until I reach the corner stitch. Okay, so I'm going down now. and 14. What I'm going to do now is take a stitch marker and you are done with your first round of your sleeve and for the second round I'm going to do a second round of half double crochet all around going straight in the first stitch we had made right there and we joined that will be the first stitch of my second round, putting a stitch marker there just to make sure we know where our round begins and ends. Okay guys, so here is your sleeve opening. Let me try to put it the right way. So the front panel is here. Okay, this is your sleeve opening. We have joined, we have done one round. We are at the second round. I just put my stitch marker right there and for your second round you are just going to do a round of half double crochet all around. And I will meet you at the end of your second round right there. Alright guys, now for the fun part we're going to make those statement sleeves with kind of bobbles. You are at your third round, so what you're going to do, here is your stitch marker, that's the first stitch. You're going to make five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then in the sixth one, what you're going to do is make in that same stitch five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. It's in the same stitch, okay? Now I'm going to drop your crochet hook, making sure not to unravel it, and count one, two, three, four, five. In the fifth one, pass your crochet hook up, grab this, slip stitch, as the second loop in the first and you just created a bubble. Now you're going to again go to the next stitch right there and make five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And again in that sixth stitch you're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And drop, count five. One, two, three, four, five. Pass your crochet hook into the fifth one. Up. You go to the next and you do up five half double crochets. One, 
Mm, voilà. And you just created two bubbles. Look at those. And that's what you're going to continue to do all around your third row. I will meet you at the end of your third row. Oh my God, look how cute, I love it. It is so adorable. So I'm at the end of my third round. You ended your last little bubble here, your little popcorn or whatever you want to call it. And then you have one, two, three, four, five. What you do now is just make a popcorn. One, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four, five. Oppa. And this will be the last one of your round. Okay? So now, and now that's going to be the first stitch of your fourth round. What we're going to do now is just make a row of half double crochet all around. So one, so I had like one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to make one half double crochet right here on top of the popcorn stitch. And then again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one half double crochet right on top of the popcorn stitch, okay? And you're going to continue like that all around until you meet your stitch marker. I'll meet you there. So cute. I am done with my fourth round and I'm going to do actually another round of half double crochet all around. Here is my first half double crochet on my fifth row. And here we go. Again, one round of half double crochet. I will meet you at the end of your fifth row. Now I'll show you what to do. We're going to put more bubbles, but in between the two ones, so about here. All right, so we are at our sixth round. And what we're going to do now is put other bubbles. So it's gonna be a round of bubbles, but we're gonna try to put them in between the two ones that we had done previously, so about here. So we had, if you go up the bubble, you should have one, two, three, four, five in the middle. And if you want the bubble to be in the middle, we're going to count one, two and make our bubble here. Then you're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and that's where you're going to do your bubble here. So for that sixth round, let me put the stitch marker. I'm going to do one, oops, two, and three. Remember, we had our first um, half double crochet, so it's basically four, but that's only because it's the beginning of the round. And then right here, we're going to make a bubble. One, two, three, five double crochets in that same stitch, four and five. And repeat more of the same. And again, let's see, we're going to do five. One, two, three, four, and five. And right here in that six, we're going to make a bubble. One, two, three, four, five, bloop. Second bubble made, and again, we continue like that, and that is what we are going to do all around. One, two, three, half double crochets, four, and five. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, looks pretty good, right? Look. And that is what we are going to continue to do for the next at least 20 rounds. I'm not going to decrease because I want this to be a little bit of a poofy sleeve. So, you know, this is your round of bubbles and in between 
you are going to have two rounds of half double crochet and then in the next round again you're going to find the middle point and make a bubble in the middle and um, the same way we had done it at the beginning so kind of alternating little bubbles <laughs> how cute it looks all right so here we are at the end of your eighth round and this is what your sleeve will look like it is so so cute oh my god because we had one two a bubble round at three four five a bubble round that's six seven eight right and then for the ninth round so at the end of our eighth round for our ninth round we're going to do again a round of bubbles and you see how I place the new bubble in between the old one so here we had the two bubble and up the next row was here so now again for this ninth row we're going to place the bubble right there so I'm going to count really and make sure that there are one two three four five stitches in between the two bubbles and I'm gonna count one two three and up right here this is where I'm going to make my new bubble so you eye it and you place it make sure that your bubble is in the middle so one two I'm going to do for this ninth round you have the crochet in the first stitch yeah replace my stitch marker I really 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 helps to know where my row begins and ends and another one that's two half double crochets right and then right here I'm going to do a bubble one two three four five right there up the same thing and then again one two three four five and a bubble and that will take us all around your ninth round and you will continue like that a round of bubble two round of half double crochet a round of bubble alternating the place to make it look really nice and so we will continue in that pattern so two rounds of half double crochet one round of bubble two rounds of half double crochet half double crochet one round of bubble until you have 30 rounds in total so 10 rounds of bubble separated by two rounds of half double crochet and i will meet you at the end of your round 30. all right so this is what your sleeve will look like and i actually did 30 rounds and then i added two rounds of half double crochet so we are at the end of your round 32. A beautiful what a statement sleeve i love it time to decrease and close the sleeve so we are done with our eight millimeter crochet hook for now and we're going to replace it by a six millimeter crochet hook all right so for the 33rd round what you're going to do is make a double crochet in the next stitch right here and then you're going to turn those two stitches into one by making a double crochet decrease yarn over and to the next stitch yarn over and back you will have three loops on your crochet hook yarn over and through both of the loops on your crochet hook then yarn over to the next stitch through the stitch yarn over and back you will have four loops on your crochet hook yarn over through both of the loops and then yarn over through the three loops and you just turn two stitches into one one double crochet in the next stitch and then again decreasing making two double crochet together the same way we just did before and in the next one a double crochet i'll show you one more time how to do a double crochet decrease yarn over to the next stitch yarn over and back you have three loops on your crochet hook yarn over and through both of the loops you have two loops on your crochet hook left yarn over to the next stitch yarn over and back you have four loops on your hook yarn over through both of the loops and then yarn over to three of the loops voila and this is what you're going to do all around that 33rd round so one double crochet and then a double crochet decrease until you reach your stitch marker and then for our 34th round let me move this stitch marker there voila we are going to do decreases 
but while making a front post. Let me show you how to do it. So yarn over and around the post of the double crochet from the previous round, yarn over and back, and yarn over and through two loops. You have two loops back on your crochet hook. Now you have to go through, remember, we decrease those two double crochets. So you're gonna go, yarn over, go behind those two little double crochet we had decreased and turn in one, yarn over and back, and over and through two loops, and then yarn over through the three loops on your crochet hook. Let me show you again. Here is the post, the double crochet from the previous round, yarn over, front post double crochet. That means that you're going from the front to the back around the post from the previous round, yarn over, right back behind it. You have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through both of the loops. And you have two loops on your crochet hook. Now you're going to do the same, but around that decreased double crochets so you're going to go around those two decreased double crochet that turn into one, yarn over and back, then yarn over through two of the loops, and then yarn over through all of the loops on your crochet hook. Voila, and this is what your work will look like. You will do that all around. That's your 34th round, and I will meet you once you have this stitch marker. And then for your final round, the 35th round, you're going to go all around and making a front post double crochet. All around the two decreased posts from the previous round. And this is what your sleeve will look like. The end of your sleeve, the little edge, the little edge of your sleeve will, will look like that. So here we go. And I will meet you at the end of your 35th round when we meet this stitch marker. And we're going to fasten off and sew in all the loose tail. And next we are going to do the border. All right, so this is what your work will look like at the end of your beautiful sleeve. And we decreased, now we are going to slip stitch and fasten off. And then we're going to repeat exactly the same thing for the second sleeve. So in all your loose stills in the back of your work and we're going to now work on your panel. So take your eight millimeter crochet hook and go to the bottom of your right side panel right there. And join the same way we had joined before. And once you have joined with your yellow yarn again, you are going to chain two. And basically what we're going to do is uh, pick up stitches going up the side of your panel, about one stitch per row. And those are going to be double crochets going up the side of your front panel, picking up stitches. I had about 50 double crochets going up one side of the panel. Then I had a few stitches on the collar, about two, and then on the other side, about 50 again. So I will meet you once I am up at the collar to show you how your work will look like. And then we will continue, here we go. And then we will pick up a few stitches in the middle right there at the collar, and then go to the other side and I will meet you. Once you are done with your first row of your border, at the bottom of the left panel, right there. All right, you're done with your first row. And now we are going to chain two, turn your work around and work on the second row of your border. For your second row, we're going to do back post double crochet all along those hundred and something stitches. And that is going to be your second row back post double crochet and I will meet you once you are done with your border at the end of your second row that row of back post double crochet So this is what the back of your work will look like with little ridges and then the front will be all smooth
Here we go, we are done with our second row of um, double crochet, back post double crochet to be more precise. You are going to take your scissors and fasten off and you're going to sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work. And that is it, my friends. You are done with your beautiful, adorable, bubble statement sleeve vest. I am absolutely smitten by this vest again. Cannot wait to wear it. I can feel that it's going to be, again, one of my favorite. I really love what we have created together this uh, year so far, and I'm looking for so many more. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I'm trying to slow down a little for you and take my time doing my voice over when I crochet. So yes, the videos are a little longer, but for the ones of you that are beginners, I think that it might help a lot. So that is it. I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, happy crochet and love you. Bye. And I have the sniffle. Uh, stuffing, stuck, stuffing stockers, I always say that. As usual, I will take you through, uh, as usual, I will take you through it slowly. Click on the subscribe button right there. And why am I sweating? What else can I tell you guys?